Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're in chat, LLM Teams, and I got something awesome to show you. They have created an AI control center, or a toolbar, or in some ways, a tool set. Take a look at this. Look down here at the bottom, you're going to see a whole bunch of options here. Image, code, playground, screenshot, PowerPoint generation, and if you click on more, there's a bunch more here. This is all broken down by the type of task that you're looking to do, and you can see here just some examples that we're going to go into detail, but look at this here. Here's the first one I did. I did a video. Look at this. I created this using the control bar or the toolbar, and it is a 10-second video, and it's built using Kling 1.5 the brand new version. The day it came out, they had it in fantastic stuff. If I want to create images, I did an image here, I clicked on image, done. Keep going here, coding, it creates code either through code or through playground. It not only created it, it created executable code, which I then used, and here we go. I just did this in a Jupyter Notebook. I copied it in, it works, first time, fantastic stuff. I mean, the list goes on here, we can keep going. Here's PowerPoint presentations. I asked for a Tesla presentation, and it gave me a deck, and as I go through it, they gave me this deck one click, literally. Here's some more, analyzing videos. We're gonna talk about scraping websites. I scraped my own website. And I mean, the list goes on here, guys, but this is absolutely fantastic stuff. Their tool center or their toolbar, their control center, whatever you wanna call it, is grade A, triple A stuff. Let me show you how to use it, it's very easy. Here we go. All right, so now that you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this. It's easy to use. Now, if you see a sidebar, you can always just click this little button here and open or close the sidebar, depending on what you're looking for. Now, to use the toolbar or tool set or the control center, it is a piece of cake. Just select something here from the bottom and start working. I'm gonna start with one of my favorites, which is video generation. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom here, I'm gonna click on more, I'm gonna go to video gen. When I do that, you're going to see here, it gives me this prompt. Watch this. French Bulldog reading a book on the moon wearing a pink tie. Something like that. Okay, I'm just having some fun here. Watch that. We can put a negative prompt in, CFG scale. All of these things I've described in previous videos, but it's important for you to know that this uses Kling 1.5 at the moment. This is the best video generator on the market. In my opinion, we could switch the aspect ratio, switch the duration to 10 seconds, and literally click on generate. If I want to modify the prompt, I can go ahead and do that and let the computer decide if it's going to add in some more adjectives and things like that, up to you, and click on generate. This is a quick run through it. It's going to go ahead and create that video for me. And this, again, access through the toolbar. Let's go to another tab here. I've got a whole bunch of blank tabs open just to save time, and that's a... Pro tip, if, you, if you've got a lot of things you're doing at once, just open a bunch of tabs of chat LLM and bam, you're on your way. I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, some code here. So I wanna use the playground, which is kind of like the artifacts window. It sort of basically just loads up this area where you can sort of, you know, it's like a sandbox type thing. Okay, create a snake game using Python, make it executable in a Jupyter notebook. So it's gonna go ahead and go front to back, A to Z. Here we go, click on enter, watch that. Okay, here we go. It's gonna cook it up right in front of our eyes, which is pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. I'm gonna let that do its thing. I'm still, again, using the toolbar. Let's go ahead and keep going here. I need a PowerPoint presentation. Watch this, here's another thing. Click on PowerPoint Gen, and now watch this. I'm gonna go into my Finder, and then in my, let's go right here, in my chat LLMs folder, you'll see here I've got a Tesla Q2 2024, I've got a PDF. So I want to use this PDF as the, I guess as the original document to get the PowerPoint from. So create a deck based on this. So I drag and drop that in literally one click and then describe PowerPoint, create a summary of Q2 2024 Tesla um, financials. Something that's, I think that's what the document is. Yeah, it is. There we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Click on enter. It's running. So you see what's happening here. As a power user, I've got video generating. I've got in, I've got code generating and it's already gone ahead and done it. We're going to copy that code and run it in a few minutes here. I've got a PowerPoint deck running. Let's go into this blank tab and do some more work here. Do I want to do a screenshot? Sure. Why not? Click on that. I can go ahead and do a screenshot from the Chrome tabs I have open. I can do a window or I can just go ahead and screenshot whatever screen I'm working on. It's literally that easy. Again, it is like a control center. It is fantastic. Let's go ahead and open this here. What else did I wanted to show you? Do you want to do a video analysis? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I got a video that I want to look up. 
Now you can upload your own video or you can use a YouTube video. I'm just gonna go to YouTube, go ahead and type that in. First video we see is this one here. She got rejected, okay, that's so rough. We no big deal, doesn't matter. I'm gonna click on share. I'm going very quickly here because the point is, is not to show you the techniques, but just to show you how powerful this toolbar or control center is. So here we go, let's go back into here. We're gonna analyze that video. And presto, we're gonna go ahead and get an analysis of it. And then for the last one, why not? Let's do one more thing here. Let's go ahead and open this up here. And have we done an image generation yet? Let me think, no, we haven't. Let's go ahead and do an image. I'll click on image, and then I'm gonna do French, English, pardon me, English bulldog reading a book on the moon. Something like that, having some fun here. Click on enter, this is gonna use Flux 1.1 Pro, which is the amazing, amazing AI image generator. All of this is happening all at once. Let's go back to the beginning though. Here we go, so the video's taken a few seconds because I made a long one, so I'm gonna come back when that's done. I'm gonna show you the results of everything. We're gonna run a couple of them. And if you're not impressed by this, I'm sorry. I don't know what, I don't know what else to say. So back in a second and we'll show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So here we are. Here's our first kick at the can with the video generation. Again, all you gotta do is just go into the toolbar, click on video gen, it's that simple. Here we go, we got a French bulldog reading a book on the moon wearing a pink tie. Let's hit play. Look at that, it's got, he's got his tie on, he's got his book, he's on the moon, which is on another moon, which has the earth in the background. And I mean, if you're really digging in here, look, the shadow is on the left side of his face, his left or our right, if you're looking at it head on. Same side, the shadow on the earth in the background is. Top drawer stuff, guys, this is fantastic. So again, we just created this right off the toolbar. We wanted to create a game. It created us a snake game. I could copy that code. If I want to, I can go ahead and open up a Jupyter notebook and this will work on the first crack. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, so to do that, all you gotta do here is I'm just gonna open up my Anaconda Navigator and then in here, I'm gonna launch notebook. It's gonna go ahead and load up the terminal and all those other things that it needs to do. I'm next gonna go click on new Python 3 kernel and then I'm just gonna copy and paste the code in directly. As you can see here, it's the exact same code. And then watch this, when I hit shift enter to run this, it's gonna load the snake game. So not only did it do what we wanted it to do, it did it perfectly. We got the exact code and we even got the artifact window on the right side here so you can see it a little bit better. So again, all done off the toolbar, fantastic stuff, including a working snake game in one click. Do we wanna look at the PowerPoint presentation? Here's what it gave us, here's the summary. And then yeah, if we wanna go ahead and generate a PowerPoint, I can just say yes, generate PowerPoint. And it's gonna go ahead and do it for me. So while it does that, let's take a look at the other options here. Here is the uh, video analysis, and that one's located right here under video analysis, of course. Analyzing the video, we put the video in, analyzing the results, and it even gives us time codes and chapters on what it sees. So here's the transcript of the entire video, and then it provides us with a analysis of it. Amazing stuff, guys. Here's the image generator that I talked about. Generate an image of an English bulldog reading a book on the moon. Here's our image. This is fantastic. It's got the earth in the background with a little bit of a blur on it there. So we've got some depth of field. It's in Flux 1.1 and you'll see here that it says Pro, which is the big version. It's the top shelf stuff. All of this was done inside chat LLM teams. And last but not least, let's look at that PowerPoint, see what we got. So I'm gonna click on download and then I'm gonna click on open. And here we go. It's the same style, red operating cash flow, profitability, revenue breakdown. I mean, it did all of those jobs inside chat LLM and they're all accessible off of the control center or the toolbar. This is amazing stuff, guys. Chat LLM and the team over at Abacus AI deliver the goods week after week. They're always launching, always sending new products our way. Definitely check it out. Links in the description below. Let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for watching.